Hi, my name is Josue Batista. I am a business and technology strategist. Welcome to this segment of What and Why First. In this segment, I would like to share with you more information about the Hyperledger framework. The Hyperledger framework is all about building solutions, blockchain solutions that are distributed and decentralized. Currently, three of the framework components are in active status, that is Fabric, Iroha, and Sawtooth. Active means that they are available and ready for enterprise production solutions. Let's examine the active framework components first, starting with Hyperledger Fabric. Now, Hyperledger Fabric is the flagship blockchain platform for developing applications or solutions using a highly modular architecture. There are several modules. Here are the ones I consider quite important. First, there is a pluggable ordering service that establishes consensus on the order of the transactions and then broadcasts blocks to peers. That offers significant flexibility and higher speed of transactions. Also, there is a pluggable membership service provider and that is responsible for associating entities in the network with cryptographic identities. Also, the smart contracts or chain code run within a container environment for isolation. They can be written in a standard programming languages and do not have any access to the ledger state. Fabric is the first blockchain technology that enables use of a standard programming languages like Go or Node.js. Also, the ledger can be configured to support a variety of database management systems. Another feature that I like is that Hyperledger Fabric supports plug-and-play consensus protocols like Kafka, Zookeeper, and Byzantine Fault Tolerant ordering consensus protocols, among others. Now, all of these features of Hyperledger Fabric are great. Still, are there any Hyperledger Fabric use cases in production? Well, the good news is there are plenty, and the most interesting business use case for Hyperledger Fabric is Walmart. Walmart has been interested in enhancing transparency and traceability in the food system. In 2018 alone, there were 18 outbreaks of foodborne illnesses in the USA, including E. coli found in romaine lettuce. Walmart tried several architectural frameworks to build this large-scale solution before turning to blockchain. And not just any blockchain, Hyperledger Fabric. Here are the key reasons why Walmart and its coalition decided to adopt Hyperledger Fabric. First, for the solution to work, an open and vendor-neutral technology ecosystem was needed. That makes sense. That is because food traceability involves many parties, including Walmart suppliers and even parties that do not trust Walmart, like direct competitors. Second, the Hyperledger Fabric modular architecture allows fast and reliable integration across diverse industries and systems, including interoperability with other blockchain systems, especially Ethereum. Third, because Hyperledger Fabric already have a diverse community working on multiple use cases relevant to the problem at hand, Walmart and its partners did not start from scratch. The open source nature of the Hyperledger project allowed Walmart to leverage existing solutions from other contributors as they build and scale their own solution. There are plenty of other examples of how Hyperledger is bringing innovative solutions and value to a growing number of industry coalitions. I hope this short introduction to the Hyperledger fabric sparked your interest in learning more about the Hyperledger fabric product. Hyperledger fabric provides the resilience, flexibility, scalability, performance, and confidentiality that enterprise and corporate distributed ledger networks require. Any serious evaluation of blockchain platforms should include Hyperledger Fabric in its short list. Until next time, <laughs> cheers!